Welcome to our children's glass painting project. Although this is for children, as you can see, with some children's designs, I'm actually going to do the first part with these designs. I've just printed them out off the computer in blue, so my outline will stand out. You can see I've already done a bit of outlining there, and I'm doing it on glass. You can get release paper for this sort of work, but I prefer to work on glass. I find it very easy to get it off when I've finished. Now I'm using this C2 glass design outliner by Hobby Line and I'm going to use it straight out of the bottle. This is because I want quite a thick line for this type of work. It's not an intricate design as you can see so quite thick lines are going to help us here. So normal outlining practice, squeeze lift and pull the line always working away from the nozzle the outliner will lie back down on the glass you don't want to push the outliner just pull it all the time touch lift and pull gives the smoothest lines now try and avoid working over items you've already outlined touch lift and pull you can move the work around there we go right let's speed this up a bit because you don't want to watch every single line being outlined as you can see move it around new piece of glass here move around so you're always pulling the line and you're never working over something you've already done We'll carry on going until we've got a reasonable number of designs outlined onto these sheets. Put them aside to dry as we do them. set to go and that should give us a reasonable number of designs I'll leave those overnight to dry and obviously as this is a children's glass painting project we shall bring a child in to do the painting well here's Luke and he's using a hobby line glass design window color as you can see he's putting the paint onto the glass straight from the bottle and using a cocktail stick to move it around and make sure he's got all the gaps covered using his colours and using a range of techniques playing different areas with colour putting one colour on top of another and using the cocktail stick to blend it when necessary if you're doing this work with a child they should be wearing appropriate clothing because they probably will end up with some paint on it and 
although water based it's not always the easiest paint to get off clothing likewise the surface they're working on make sure they're working on some paper right let's speed this up a bit see Luke using the cocktail stick to get a few different effects there and finish off with a star and one of the hearts right we'll leave Luke to carry on and finish the rest of it and again we'll be leaving that overnight to dry okay so all the pieces have been outlined and painted as you can see here can't quite see how transparent they are but believe me they are all I'm going to do now is loosen them up so let's work on this sheet here got quite a sharp craft knife here that's just going to help me pick off the edge so there we go Mindings fingers obviously and you can see it comes off quite easily now it is off I'm just going to put, put it back on again and it will come off much easier next time just put it on lightly and get on with the next one I'll continue that through and do all of the sheets. Well, here's Luke back for the next part of the project. As you know, I've already loosened these and he's going to transfer them onto his candle holder there. They're self-sticking obviously, so no need for glue or anything like that. And one of the beauties is if he does make a mistake or he's not happy with something, he can just peel it off and reapply it again somewhere else. Now this is going to take Luke a little while, so we'll skip forward whilst we watch him do it. Now, as a finishing touch, Luke is adding a clear glass paint in between the designs. Now, it looks white when it goes on, but it will dry clear. And the trick with this is to do it as rough as possible. You don't want it smooth, because when it dries, it's going to give a nice mottled effect to that glass. So ideally suited for children's glass painting. And as it's clear, it doesn't even matter if you get a bit on the other designs. Well, the white mottling has gone clear. And here's the finished objects. As well as the little candle holder, Luke used the spare designs to make himself this large candle holder out of a jam jar. Little one will be going to his teacher as an end of term present. And the big one will stay in the house. 
Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and we will see you soon. Our special thanks to Luke for his help in making this video.